Right, this is probably one of the rare opportunities I can do a video on this walk because there's an awful lot of people. I'm not going up the steep bit first. I'm going to do that on the way back and go straight onto the beach. I'm going up this way. I often go this way. Sometimes I even go down to the sea. But I'm not doing that today. I just a basic walk today. I'd like to do that, but I don't this time. I've started off late. Again, a lot of my walks are now sort of 12, 1 o'clock. Uh, whereas before I would be out 10, 10 o'clock and I had that extra couple of hours. But down there's the old farmhouse. Um, and... Um, where you used to get the ferry over to Weston in the past, a long time ago now. Um, they never ever restarted it. And um, you've got the river axe running down the bottom there, the estuary. And the tide comes in there. Over there, you've got uphill over there. The church on the hill. Brent Knoll, of course. And this is the bird garden down at Breen. This is Breen. I didn't do any videos on the beach because of the there's a lot of sand flying about and a lot of coal dust. So since it's the only camera I got at the moment. <coughs> so the plan today is a walk round. Um, I didn't buy anything in the shop on the way. I've got no idea. I managed to use the ladies. Didn't really want to but I thought well I will. So there we are, people coming down the, the steep path, which I will do later. There's a shop there, there's a restaurant there, parking, places to stay on holiday. I don't, some people probably don't even know about this path, they don't walk this far, see? What it is, they go up the path and then come back down it. It's only when you've been here a while and done several walks that you learn about it. I'm not, but I won't be doing a lot of videoing going up here because it's all uphill. It is, there is a few hills here. Obviously, it's bringing down. It is a hilly place. Um, but you can see. It's, it's not good for photography exactly. There's a little bit of blue sky, but it's mainly grey. But I thought, right, they're predicting thunderstorms and awful rain over the weekend. Well, it's Friday. <coughs> Supposed to be alright most of today. So I thought, get out while you can. The weather's changing, the summer's over. Could be. We've had our summer. This is it, the last six days. <coughs> yeah, it does happen like that. You get about a week of big hot weather. You might get another one in August. Then there's a night's draw in. Less and less heat. So get out while you can. I've been trying to get out as much as I can this week. But I didn't go out on the extreme hot days. Only very, very local. Round the park or up the wood. <sighs> I hope to go up the Quantox when the weather improves again after the storms that are coming. Over and out. Right, another short walk. Uh, video, I mean. I've arrived on the top, and I quite often, when I'm up here, if I've got more time, but I'm, like I said, I'm short of time today, I usually walk to the end of the down and round another path and back up to this bench. So I've even gone round deeper down as well in the past. I've done a lot of exploring. A lot of it is on older videos, but the quality is not that good because they were old vivitars. Um, here's a stile just down there, look. That's another way up from the farmhouse. I didn't know how, um, what it was going to be like, as I could have done that, but um, 
I decided to leave it, but I could have done that and then gone down to the the wharf, but it, it doesn't matter. I can keep it for another time. So there's Brent Knoll. There's Breen Beach, full of... Well, it's not that full yet, but it is the start of the summer holidays. But we've got storms coming. We've all over the weekend predicted thunder, lightning, and torrential rain. And there are cows that live up here. So over there we've got Burnbeck Pier. Uh, my cameras aren't as good. They used to be able to zoom really, really, really in. They don't do it quite as good now, this one, but it's not too bad. The derelict pier of Western Supermare. Then we've got the Grand Pier there, which isn't as grand anymore. Um, I don't think so. It really isn't. It's nowhere like it used to be. Then everyone says that as you get older, and that oh, it ain't like one in my day. So we've got a lovely breeze. Um, the river axe comes in. There's a line you can see, and when people try to walk out here, they're in extreme danger of getting sucked out if the tide's going out. This this acts like a straw this river and it will suck you out when people have died here up to four people on one occasion died here because they walked out and tried to cross and the tide was going out it probably wouldn't do you any good if it was coming in either right now over there we've got steep um, flat home island and it, where is it there it is I've been on these up homes Trinity House Lighthouse I've been on them all mentioned loads of times on other videos. Little sailing ship. We have been getting more and more ship, little ship, sailing ships out, little sloops, over this heat, uh, hot period. It's been good weather for the sailors. And once the tide comes in, they'll be coming up the river. They moor it uphill, and they'll be having their little sail around the harbour area. I'm just going to home into a, somewhere I know very well. It's a sandstone building near the Tropicana. There it is. Not far from where I live. That building is a reference point for me. There's Tropicana. With a few entertainment places on it. That's a new place. I haven't been in it yet. It's got cafes. There's a mini golf course in there. It can hold conferences and then back to the pier. The donkeys are probably out. Some people might be packing up and going home, they know a storm's coming. At the moment, it's just a lovely breeze. Oh, see you, Sammy's, you come to join me. Are you mine? Hey, eh? you my Sammy's? Yeah, there you are. He said, what are you doing out here, Sheila? Well, you're back to yours for tea later. Well, I haven't been up here for two years. It would have been a hot day when I... I always, I always come over here when it's hot. Nearly always. It's not really the place to come if it's a bit... Um, windy. I mean, cold wind. So I'm doing a bit more video. You can see a bit more here. From up here, you can see a bit more. I'll just zoom into St. Nicholas Church on the hill, at Uphill. Because when the tsunami came in 400 years ago, it's, it cut right into uh, Uphill, big time. All the way along the Vale of Avalon it went, and all the way up to Gloucester, all the way over Wells Way. And we're overdue one. We are actually overdue for a tsunami. And the way the weather's going, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get one soon. And all this will be washed away. I said to Zara we ought to get our canoes out. Right, somebody coming, I'm gonna turn off for a minute. Over it out. Right then. I've just seen um now, there's a route called 
Route 33. It's used by pedestrian, you know, walkers and um, cyclists. And apparently people do, the ardent ones, would do the path that I frequently walk from Breen back to Uphill. I went across the marshes last time I was up here. And I've seen number seven, so that must, could be the final marker unless it's at the end. So if we see another number, we know that the serious people who take it serious will actually um, be following that. Now, if there's, I'll be taking the lower path on the way to the fort. And I should come back the top route. Quite often I do that. It's, it's hillier going up and on the way back. There is a steep hill. But uh, it's not too bad. So in a minute I'll, I'll go back down there. So there's that stone. Well, there's a cow. Let me just go over and see that cow. It looked like a bear for a minute. I thought, God, what's that in the flipping trees? They're all, ah, uh, yes, what they're doing. They're, um, they're resting in the trees, look. See him, look. That's a cow. He's eating some of the tree. They got sense, haven't they? They're all lying down the other side of that bush, by the look of it. I'm going to turn off take some more pictures, folks. All right, just a bit more video. I've just took some photos of some um, ornaments, uh, battlements. I, I'll have to look it up again. I don't know if they're Second World War from the Napoleonic era. This is probably Second World War here. Definitely, it's concrete, isn't it? Under all here, there'd be sort of stuff. Some archaeologists in the future would be digging it all up, wouldn't they? Yeah, the cows are sheltering. I took some pictures of them sheltering in the... There's the sacrifice slab. No, it was probably a lookout post once and it's just collapsed. A lot of use. There's evidence of cow everywhere, but they seem friendly enough. I've got to walk all the way back there later. I'm just doing a little bit here because I won't be doing this on the way back, so I'm doing it now. I'm expecting it to get even busier in a minute. There'll be loads of people out. That's why I'm fitting the videos when I can. When I can, I'm fitting them in. I'm just going to take some photos now. Every note. 